This is Twit. The URLs are a changing, as they say. Um, but we don't really know what they're changing to. Like, this is a Wired story uh, that basically says Sounds that Google... Like it's pretty up in the air. Yeah, Google's, like it, yeah, Google's focusing some efforts, focusing time and resources to fix what they say is is just a big problem in the fact that URLs are complicated, they're complex, they're confusing. P they, uh, they say uh, that it's you know, going to be controversial, problems? but everyone's unsatisfied with them. What do you think, Stacey? So I, I saw this story and I was like, well, you know, one of the reasons this is a problem is because URLs are often turned into like tracking URLs, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. not always. I mean, there are definitely pages that have poor naming. Almost but always. A lot of the weird as gobbledygook is totally tracking yep. stuff. So maybe if we didn't have to track that, maybe we should I don't know. <laughs> just get rid of tracking. Maybe maybe if no one needed to make money. Right. Get rid of a tracking yeah. and ads. But you're right. Whenever I share links or post links, I, I remove all the gobbledygook deliberately. Yeah. So that I try to. no one can make money from that link. But it is Although I will say, I as, was, a, as a publisher who puts... I, I, my ads have tracking, tracking codes thing. tied to, I clicked on this from Stacy. I'm like, hey, don't remove that. That's really helpful to me. Thank you. <laughs> See? See? Now the shoe's on the other foot. Yeah, I know. Everybody has a reason for those tracking. Yeah. Once, once it's your reason, the They did changes. try this before, though, right? I think the Wired story mentions that. They did try, because I remember a period where if you clicked on a link in Chrome, yep. the, the URL bar would just show you a truncated version. So it just showed you, I think, the main domain and maybe yes. one kind of slash mark. Sub it didn't show you the whole thing. Yeah, subdomain. Well, yeah, if I they remember did. correctly, it showed that to you. But if you actually went up there and copied it and then pasted that link into another browser window, you'd get the full the full thing. So, yeah. And I don't know if yeah. that if that it's full thing hidden. included the tracking kind of information or not. But yeah, but I think they just hid the the actual URL. Yeah. So it would show you something, but if you clicked and pasted it, then you'd get the real one. I wonder why they didn't keep that. Yeah, I don't uh, know. Some people complained. Because, because, <laughs> because I mean, I, I guess we're always staring at the URL bar. Sometimes that can be a great indicator of, of something. Um, of something. <laughs> well, no, I mean, of good or bad, right? Like you, you yeah. would check the URL and, and maybe there's exactly. clues in there that if it's hiding it from you, you'd be less likely to detect that something bad was happening or I'm not, I'm not really quite sure. And you're wondering something, in other you words, are. something. <laughs> yeah. I know I yeah. find it irritating when I'm checking links in a newsletter or some places that deliberately obscure the URL. I, I hover over a link. Yeah. And then I look down to see well, where is it going? You know, is it is it something that I actually want to click on and go and look at? And if the URL is obscured, it's harder to make that decision. Yeah. 